Esta gente no da buena razón. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Christina. How are you today? Nice. Nice. Do you have a good Monday? Did you have a good Monday? Probably you did. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, nice Carla. to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. How was your... Uh, teacher, yeah? uh, I'm doing great, thank you. So I'm going to tell you that I can't turn on my camera because I'm doing the dinner. I'm cooking. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you. Um, I see that I just have 12 people connected. Welcome to the class. As the coordinator told you uh, early this afternoon, my name is Flor Guerrero, and I'm going to be in charge of your module basics. Since your teacher, Mr. got his last name, but <laughs> she's on a medical leave unfortunately and he needs some rest um i don't have further details about this but yes i'm going to be happy to uh, continue with you in this module now um i was checking on some of your classes to see where did you stop and i saw that you just had two classes right? Okay, thank you so much for letting me know uh, that you will be working, but you're listening. That's nice of you. So, how are you feeling with your previous classes? ¿Cómo se han sentido hasta ahora? Cuéntenme. ¿Cómo van? You're doing good. Is this the first time that you are in classes with English Corporativo or you are coming from previous modules? Tell me, because I need to know. Uh, teacher, that yes, question teacher? was for everyone? Yes. Okay. I'm starting here around since the first course awesome with, fantastic uh, yeah with English Corporativo fantastic congratulations because uh, so it means that you are um, 
from the very beginning, and so that means that you will most likely finish and then a bilingual person very soon. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's nice. We me. try to improve every day. Okay, perfect. Good. Thank you so much for sharing. The rest of you, how have you been studying English? Is this your first module or you are coming from previous ones? Uh -huh. Anybody can answer. Cualquiera puede contestar. Es primera vez que están en clases en línea o ya vienen de módulos previos. Perdón, teacher. Eh, módulo 6. Oh, módulo 6. ¿Es this your first module with us? Eh, nos quedamos en, la, en el examen 2. Ah, ok. Yes, el you were working six. in the. Yes. So, yes, I know that you had two classes and you are supposed to complete the homework one and homework two. Okay, so I see that more people is connected now. Uh, so, yes, as the coordinator told you in the early this afternoon, I'm going to continue with you since your previous teacher is on a medical leave, unfortunately. So let me know anything um, because, yes, I see that you've been, algunos de ustedes han estado de módulos previos, okay? Ya habían empezado eh, el módulo con un teacher diferente eh, y pues habrán notado que hay, hay diferentes metodologías, diferentes formas de impartir las clases. Cada quien tiene su modo de trabajo, eh, diferentes acentos incluso. Y quiero decirles de seguir que se sientan libres de decirme o pedirme que les explique de nuevo si de repente no han comprendido. Me pueden pedir que les hable más despacio. Yo no me voy a molestar por eso. O que hable más inglés, que hable más español. Y ahí vamos a ir tratando de um, hacer lo que sea más conveniente para ustedes. ¿Ok? Yo voy a tratar de hablar lo más pausado posible para ustedes. Pero igual, si quieren que repita algo o que lo diga en español, no tengan miedo de decírmelo. Lo pueden hacer eh, por chat, aquí en el chat de la Miriam. Ahí incluso tiene la opción para escribir directos para mí, si no quieren que todos lo vean. O sea, usen, usen las herramientas que Zoom les proporciona. Vamos a estar utilizándolo. Y pues vamos a empezar con un review de las clases que tuvieron eh, la semana pasada. Okay. Eh, les compartí también lo que voy a estar utilizando como guía de la clase. Ahí lo deben de tener ya. Y para dar chance a que más personas se nos unan a la meeting, voy a pasar asistencia la primera vez por ahí de las 8 y 20. Se pasa asistencia dos veces, como ustedes ya saben. So, let's begin. So, I'm going to share my screen with you. Give me one second. So, I'm going to share the presentation first. And here is where we're going to begin. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So this is uh, where we are today. We're going to continue this. You are in the beginning module six. My name is Floridalia Guerrero de Flores. This is today's day is March 20th of 2023. And this is your class number three. What are we going to be learning today? This is how to use time expressions. Uh-huh. This is what we will do today. Uh, the competences for this unit, we are starting the unit number one is job listing. And uh, as you can see, the competences here is to respond to questions regarding to qualifications and potential contributions. Talk about benefits I would or could bring to a company. Talk about my work experience. Filling a job application, provide a specific information related to work experience. And the vocabulary, as you can see here, the vocabulary for this um, unit is time expressions, for example, long, until, for, from, to, etc. I know that you were practicing this conversation the last week. You remember this conversation? You were using would be and could be, yes? Yes. Okay. And uh, yes, we're going to just make a quick
quick review of this because I want for you to check a couple of, of um, words that I see that they are kind of difficult, right, to pronounce, such as, for example, the first one, comfortable. Kind of difficult, right? Comfortable. Yes? Estuvo un poquito difícil? Hmm. Ok, so vamos a tratar de ir trabajando también en la pronunciación. Uh, recuerden, es parte muy importante la pronunciación. Vamos a hacer un poco de énfasis en un par de palabritas que noté que son un poco difíciles y pues y tratar de ir corrigiendo, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la idea, que lo aprendamos bien. No, la idea es que todos estamos aprendiendo. Eh, no se sientan mal de repente si alguna corrección porque queremos lograr el objetivo y lograrlo bien, ¿verdad? Que es aprender el idioma inglés y pronunciarlo de la mejor manera posible. Así que eh, para comenzar voy a ir uh, leyéndoles la conversación. Ustedes pueden repetir en casa. Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. Pueden repetir después de mí. You can work at home, of course, but we are going to leave the microphones off. ¿Por qué vamos a dejar los micrófonos apagados? Por la... Uh, Algunos tenemos la velocidad más lenta que otros, entonces se oye un solo relajo. But you can practice at home. Please do it. Practice. Let's, let's repeat. Ah, oh, another thing. Intonation is very important. Okay. If it is a question here, the first one is a question. So we need to uh, keep the intonation of a question. For example, ah, and also if it is a comma here, or if you find a period, you have to make a little pause. For example, here, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in sales area? You see the intonation of the question. So let's start. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Teacher, comfortable. Repítalo, por favor. Comfortable. Comfortable. Esta T. Lo que pueden hacer es tachar esta T en su material. Táchenle la T. La T no se pronuncia esa T. Esta que estoy señalando Comfort. aquí es comfortable. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Repeat. Comfortable. Ajá. Uh -huh. Comfortable. La T, olvídenla. Hagan de caso que no existe ahí. Comfortable. Ajá. Uh -huh. Comfortable. How comfortable do you feel working in sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. Experience. You do not pronounce the E at the end. Experience. Experience. And this one is like an E, XP. Experience. Mm -hmm. experience. I can say that this would be a great opportunity. Another important thing with the word great, make sure to pronounce the T. Hay que asegurarnos de pronunciar la T al final. Great. Porque si no, suena como el color gris. Great. Okay, so make sure to say great. Mm -hmm. Great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as a, oh, the, it's missing the what. Aquí le falta el what, remember. What can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as manager, I could be of a great help in large projects. Okay, now, how do you feel? Was it easy? Do we have volunteers to role play? You can raise your virtual hand. <laughs> sure. Only uh, I have a question. Um, some people pronounce uh, comfortable. 
but mm -hmm. other people's too comfortable. Are both correct? Comfortable. Uh, the stress, el stress tiene que ir en la primera sílaba. Comfortable. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other question? Okay. Do we have volunteers to replay this conversation? Are you feel more comfortable in breakup rooms? Okay, let's do this in I can break. do it. Huh? I can do it if you want. Okay, Carla, do we have another volunteer to practice a conversation with Carla? Okay, we yes, have Carla you. and Janet. Okay, let's begin with them. Let me share the, again the presentation with you so it can be easier for you. Okay, Carla, you can start with Andre and and then this is Andre can be uh, Kurt. Okay, let's begin. Action. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir, with my experience. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to what can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. It sounds great. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, manage, manage, I will be always help in large projects. Pretty good. Very well done. Thank you so much for your participation, ladies. Uh, yes, I see that comfortable has improved. Ya mejoramos con comfortable and also with experience. Uh -huh. Experience. Ya escuché que ahí vamos mejorando. And this is little by little. Thank you so much for your uh, participation. Remember that this is really important. So la participación es muy importante para nosotros poder identificar en qué áreas eh, podemos ayudar o enfocarnos más. So thank you so much. Uh, remember that this is a review. We have more about um, this topic and more practice ahead. Tenemos más eh, prácticas. Esto era solo como un review de la uh, semana pasada. So for now, I'm going to stop for a while and we are going to check attendance. Let me get the file. Remember, stay present as soon as you hear your names. Okay, let's begin. Abel Edenilson Salazar. Present. Abigail Elizabeth. Pérez. Present. Valmore Alexander Marroquín. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. I'm here. Thank you so much. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Daniela Molina. Present. Thank you, Carla. Carla Lorena Mendoza. I'm here. Thank you. Carla Ivania Anaya. Carla Ivania. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Thank you, teacher. 
Thank you, Marina. Present. Present. Thank you. Maribel Ernesto Ramirez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Melanie Alexander. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Melissa Esther Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melissa. Mirna Janet Angel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Roberto Emilio. Present, teacher. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice meeting you, too. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present, teacher. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Víctor. No, no se le escucha, teacher, ahorita. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, let us... Todavía no se oye. ¿Y los demás me escuchan? No sé si solo... No sé si solo yo no la escucho o todos. Yes, teacher. Sí, teacher, te escuchamos. Ok, a lo mejor es su audio, entonces hay que volver a conectar y desconectar. Tal vez eso eh, nos ayuda. Ok, what do you remember about the uses of could be and would be? Any volunteer? What do you remember? Mm, we use uh, we use them to talk about possibilities. If uh, something that could be, that can be, but we are not sure. Yes, excellent. I see that you were paying attention in class. Yes, you paid attention. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yes, could be and would be, they are both used to give the impression of possibility in the future. We have two examples here. Roberto, can you read the number one, please? Okay. Sur City could be a great option to make an investment. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Roberto. Annette, can you read the example number two, please? And will be a fantastic tour guide due to her knowledge and knowledge and experience is traveling and visited place in El Salvador. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we have the two examples here, and I thought, uh, I know that you were practicing. Uh, this topic in the previous section. So do you have any question about this? Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? How to use the could be and would be? Ya tenemos dos ejemplos por aquí. Ya nos ayudaron a leerlos. Or do you have any question about maybe vocabulary or pronunciation in these two examples? No, no questions. Okay, so it's clear. Let's see, let me stop sharing this. And I see here on the chat. Okay, Carla and Francisco, they said no questions. Thank you for confirming that everything is clear here. So let me share the platform and check. We're going to check the two uh, first uh, homeworks together to make sure that we are clear on that. Have you worked on the platform? Remember that this is important and it's part of your notes that you have to complete the homework. So this is the first one, the number one. And let me provide you with the remote control. I see Carlos. Carlos Cotto, are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, Carlos. So the first topic that you studied in the previous lessons were the uses of can and can't. So I'm going to give you the, the remote control so that you can select the correct option for the first exercise. There you go. So what is the correct option here? Select it, please. Can. Uh, okay, you can use the control. Ahorita usted tiene el control de la meeting para que seleccione la opción correcta ahí. Excellent. Uh, okay, are you sure? Are you sure of your answer, Carlos? A hundred percent sure? Because it says, I'm sorry. Let's read it. I'm sorry, I help you today. I'm really busy. What do you think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? ¿Cuál es la opción correcta? Can't. It's can't. 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 Negative. Because it says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help you today. I'm really busy. Okay, Carlos. Continue with the number two. It says, I just managed to wake up on time. I'm always late. Okay, select your answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Select the answer. Seleccionela. Dele click ahí para que quede azulito. Okay. Very good. Would you like to continue? ¿Quiere continuar o ya mucha presión, mucho estrés? <laughs> no problem. Look okay. it right there. Okay, let's keep it. Okay. Number three. Look, it's right there. You see it? It's so obvious. Can. Can. Selección el ahí, Carlos. Dale click para que se quede azulito. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Now, number four. I speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. Where is the correct Can answer? You. Okay, very I good. Select it. And last one, number five, Carlos. She doesn't have a driving license. She, a car. Okay. Demole enviar para chequear que nuestras respuestas están correctas. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carlos. Todas las respuestas han sido correctas y así es como ustedes deben de eh, eh, hacer su ejercicio number. Este es el primero. This is the number one. Así es como lo deben de tener todos en su plataforma. Y nos vamos a mover a la tarea número dos. ¿Tengo algún voluntario para darle el control? Volunteer. No volunteer? Uh, so I'm going to select a victim if I don't have volunteers. Any volunteer? You can raise your hand. Maybe choose a victim. <laughs> uh, yes, choose I think a victim I'm going to because a I'm victim. really busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Christina. You have the control now. Usted tiene el control, Cristina. Okay, let's see. The homework number two is unscramble the words to form sentences. That is pretty easy. So we have to put the words in order to make a sentence. Let's see what the words that we have is great. Study would be abroad. It opportunity to A. So what is the sentence there, Cristina? Write the sentence. 
Ahí tenemos que escribir la oración, Cristina. Ahí tiene el control de la mire. Usted puede hacer uh, la oración justo ahí. Ya estamos ahí. Empecemos la oración. Oh, no. <ríe> Aquí, ahí está ya. Solo empiece a escribir. ¿Cuál sería la primera palabra? Pueden ayudarle, compañeros. You can help her. It, it would be. Okay, Cristina, write it. It. Would be. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm. Ayúdenme. Ya les va a tocar a, a ustedes great. también. A, <laughs> a great, great opportunity. A great. Nos falta el article. Antes de great, a, a great. To study. It would be a great. Let's separate it. Mm -hmm. It would be a great what? Opportunity. Yes, opportunity. Let's write opportunity. To abroad. Uh, the R is missing opportunity. R, opportunity. Study. Opportunity. To study. To study. To study. Okay. Yeah. Abroad. Abroad. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what does that mean? Abroad. Abroad is in another country, in a different country. Wow. En el extranjero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Christina. It says it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Let's put this one in capital. Okay, let's see for the number two. Uno quiero sobreestresar solo a uno. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Victor. Victor, you have the control now. Victor, can you help us with the number two? Victor. Ahí tiene el control. Ah, póngalo acá. Ahí está ya para escribir. <ríe> ok, ready. Ok, let's see the word. Our beneficial employees could be a training for. Ok. A training, uh huh. Could be. Beneficial. Beneficial. For our employees letter s employees i have because it's plural employees okay awesome thank you so much victor let's okay vamos a darle el control a alguien más para que nos ayude con la número tres uh, okay Carla Ivania, you have the control of the meeting now. Carla Ivania. Less hours, another working would be benefit. 
Let's check. Uh-oh. -oh. <ríe> Espérenme, Carla, se nos salió. Ahí está la tarea. No okay. sé antes que estuviera con el teléfono. Por eso okay, quiero no, ver. No. Ok. Uh, so, in this one, we're going to start with what? With the verb. El verbo inicia la oración, el gerund. Working. Can you type the answer? Puede, puede digitarlo. Oh, está muy difícil con el teléfono, Carla. Oh, yeah, there you go. Excellent. Working. Mm. Creo que se está haciendo muy difícil, como que le está traduciendo o dando um, predicciones al teléfono, right? Ok, no worry, Carlos. Le voy a ayudar porque parece que el teléfono a veces eh, pone otras cosas. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, no worries. Working. 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 Mm. Working what? Okay. Uh, less hours. Less hours. Less hours. Uh, okay. Would be, would be another benefit. Another benefit. Uh -huh. Would be another benefit. Okay. There we have working as hours would be another benefit. Let's put this in capital. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you for trying. Let's see if we have another victim here. So I can give the control of, of the meeting. Carlos Humberto Estrada, you have the control now for number four. Carlos Humberto Estrada, help us with number four, please. Carlos Humberto. Okay, let's give it to Balmore Marroquín. Balmore, can you help us with number four? Ahí tiene el control Balmore. Can you help us with the number four? We have option staff would be uh, weekends off to uh, have a good happy. Hmm. It's okay. Uh -huh. Weekends off. Uh -huh. Weekends off would check would LD LD. Okay, weekends off would be. Help him. Ayúdenle. Si ven que algo va mal, le pueden ayudar. Weekends off would be. A good. A good. Uh -huh. A good. Le voy a ayudar. <ríe> Me voy a ayudar a ponerlo donde era. Ok, weekends of would be, ahí está. A good, type a good, uh -huh. a good, a good what, classmates? Option. 
a good option okay option to to have a happy stuff okay to have a happy a good option to have I tell to have then the after option to have a happy tap okay very good that was pretty hard right palmore thank you so much palmore and classmates for helping with this one and let's check the last one let me choose another victim since i do not have volunteers let's see melissa esther melissa esther Are you there, Melissa? Let's do the last one. Rate of inventory, the department could be Maria help in. That's not really complicated, but it's a long sentence. Melissa is there. Okay, parece que Melissa no nos ha tomado el control aún. So let's check another one. Let's try with Abel Edenilson. Abel, you have the control now. Abel Edenilson, can you help us? Okay, chair. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number five, please. It said uh, I am using the selfie. I have a problem. Okay. Um, you can uh give me what is the first word here, and I'm going to write. ¿Cuál sería la primera palabra? María. Ok. María. María. Could be. Could be. Uh -huh. Could be. Oh, oh, great help. Ok. Oh, great help. In... In the inventory department. Okay. In the inventory department. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I think that we need to, <laughs> creo que necesitamos poner puntito. Veamos si ese es el problema. Puntito acá. Puntito acá. Puntito acá, eh, puntito acá. Eh, ok, send again. Huh, partially correct. <laughs> ok, it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Ok. La primera tiene un espacio, creo, antes del punto, teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, el punto está por allá, por otro lado. Okay, thank you so much. And let's see, weekends off. We have a happy stuff. It looks like it's good. So, let's see. Okay, tampoco está agarrando esto. Vamos a revisar. It would be a great opportunity. Uh, creo que aquí está. Ah, ajá, uh -huh. opportunity. A great opportunity. To 
aggiustare qua Y che, yo tenía Ajá. eso como study, it's to abroad would be a great opportunity. Ah, beginning with the turn. Okay. Study, so, uh -huh. so study is to abroad. To study abroad mm -hmm. would be a great opportunity. Solo que al inicio, solo así como study, sin, sin el tú. Solo study it to abroad. No sé si necesita llevar el tú al inicio. Study abroad. Ajá, aquí está el tú. So let's try with it too. And if not, I'm going to. Uh -huh. Study it to abroad. It's... Study abroad. Just with, with abroad would be. Uh, to abroad. To abroad. Not teacher, okay. abroad is mm, that is scared. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. To abroad, to abroad. Mm. No debería, pero vamos a chequear. Mm. That's weird. It would be a great. Ajá, uh -huh. alguien se la ha tomado buena. Yes, teacher. Porque eh, a mí sí me parece. Mayúscula. Uh -huh. Perdón. A great opportunity to study abroad. Because it is on. ¿Cómo se dice? Mayúscula. Capital. Eso. Uh -huh. Yes, it was supposed to be like that. Tendría que, que ir así. It would be a great opportunity. To study abroad. Con la, uh -huh, con capital. That should be the correct one. Pero no la agarro. No sé. A lo mejor tengo que refrescar la plataforma. Porque a veces eso sucede. Que cuando uno está mucho tiempo en la plataforma. Se tiende a, a congelar. Entonces hay que como que refrescar. Puede ser que eso esté sucediendo. Ok. Bueno, vamos a chequearla. Uh, do you have a happy staff? Ahí creo que se ha revuelto, teacher. Sí, se ha revuelto. Uh -huh. Hola, hola. ¿Alguien tiene buena la 4 y la 5 de esos ejercicios? Uh -huh. La 5 la tenemos buena acá. ¿Cómo sería en la 5? Porque yo estaba intentando y, y no me daba. Ahorita se la pasamos. Weekends off tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Y a good option to have a happy staff. Ok, igual. Bueno, la cinco así la tenemos y nos salió buena. Ahorita se la copio y se la paso en el chat. Ahí está la cinco. María could be of great help in the inventory department. Ajá, ¿alguien hablaba por ahí? Sí, yes, teacher. Eh, yo igual las iba trabajando junto con usted. Y la, solo la una, la, la número uno me aparece buena. <risa> Chistoso. Sí, porque ajá, ahorita solo tenemos problemas en la uno y la cinco. Y si las hizo igual, deberían de estar buenas todas, excepto esas dos que nos están dando problemas. Ah, bueno, la, la uno. La uno, teacher, eh, lo que me parece acá es good be a great opportunity to study abroad. Y, es, y me parece buena con el punto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así está bien, entonces. Tenía un espacio de más. Uh -huh. Y se las pongo en el chat. Esa sería la número uno. Ahí está en el chat de la meeting. Solo tiene un espacio de más. Weekends off. La número tres. La número tres. Ahorita se las copio y se las pego en el chat también para que la tengan ahí. 
Ahí está la número tres. Working less hours would be another benefit. Mm -hmm. Any other? Algo otra que tengan dudas? La number two. Number two. A training. Ahorita se las copio en el chat. Ahí está. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Y la cuatro es la que no podemos arreglar ahorita por alguna razón. Voy a refrescar la plataforma y más tarde les voy a decir si me logró agarrar la respuesta. Ahí tienen ya por lo menos cuatro de cinco que son los items para esta tarea. Vamos a quedar pendientes con la cuatro. Solo voy a refrescar en algún momento que les ponga a trabajar en otra cosita. Ok, let's stop here. Let's see. Ok, how are you feeling so far? Was it kind of difficult, right? Estamos un poquito difícil, ¿verdad? To keep the proper order. Y a veces son cositas así como un punto, un espacio adicional que hayamos puesto, nos puede eh, generar problemas en el ejercicio. Así es que hay que estar eh, chequeando. But let's continue here. Okay. Now, this is about the could be and would be review. Uh, we have completed the homework one and two. And let's continue here with the time expressions that we are going to be using. Okay, so we have a conversation here. In this, we will be able to talk about our work experience. And uh, we have a question here. How long have you worked in your company? Have you occupied different positions? Mm -hmm. Let's ask the question to some people here. Elizabeth Hernandez, are you there? Elizabeth? Sí, teacher. Okay, Elizabeth, how long have you worked in your company? How long? It refers to time. How long have you worked in your company, Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Elizabeth? Can you ask the question, Elizabeth? <laughs> Ask me the question. Pregúntame usted a mí entonces. Ask me the question. How long have you working in your company? Oh, I have worked at Inglés Corporativo for five years. Ahí les escribí la respuesta que le acabo de dar a Elizabeth. I have worked at Inglés Corporativo for five years. Now, can you ask me the second question, please, Elizabeth? Okay. How you uh, could find different position? Ah, if I have occupied different positions, uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Just English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for practicing with me, Elizabeth. Okay, now in this conversation, we'll be, be talking about um, work experience and uh, we're going to be using the prepositions and we will go uh, deeper on that topic um, in a couple of minutes. So we're going to practice pronunciation here with this uh, conversation that we have here. It is on page 13 of your material. So let's just think. I'm going to read it for you and you can repeat at home with your microphones off. 
tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. All right. Do you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation in this conversation? Yes, no. Teacher, independent, ¿dónde lleva la fuerza de voz? Independent. Okay, oh. thank you. Mm -hmm. in, the, in la penúltima, independent. Any other questions? Okay, uh, so you do not have questions. Let's practice this conversation in the breakup rooms. La vamos a practicar en breakup rooms. No sé, me imagino que ya lo han hecho antes. La práctica en los rooms. Esto es para que todos tengan oportunidad de practicar la conversación. Y yo me voy a meter a cuantos rooms pueda para escucharlos. Um, and let's see. One second. Ok. En los breakout rooms uh, puede que sean tal vez de cinco participantes. Tal vez no todos puedan porque hay algunos que entiendo que todavía están en el trabajo. But yes, try to. Traten de practicarla tantas veces como puedan en ese tiempo. Okay, try to practice both roles. First, for example, I'm going to be Julio and Elizabeth is going to be Anna. And then we switch. Then I am Anna and Elizabeth is Julio. So try to switch roles with different classmates so that you can practice the whole thing. And uh, you can share it also screen. También puede alguien del grupo compartir pantalla para que todos en el grupo estén eh, viendo o tal vez alguien tenga impreso el material, pero no todos. Entonces, ahí donde está el muñequito donde dice participantes, les aparece una flechita hacia arriba que dice share screen. Si ustedes hacen clic en share screen, eh, el grupo con el que ustedes ven van a ver la pantalla de su computadora o del celular desde donde estén compartiendo para que compartan la conversación y todos puedan verla. Y luego ustedes deciden qué dinámica van a tener en el grupo para practicar la conversación. Eh, también hay un botoncito por ahí que dice uh, Ask for Help. Ustedes pueden levantar la manita y pedir ayuda si en algún room tienen dificultades y yo pueda ingresar a ese salón. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Y esto te, eh, les voy a asignar un tiempo. Luego de este tiempo la sesión se va a cerrar y automáticamente ustedes regresan a la sección principal. ¿Ok? Y les va a salir un como mensajito. 
que dice que la sesión se va a terminar. Esto no quiere decir que se van a salir de un solo, sino que les da un minuto. Después de ese mensajito, les da un minuto para que ustedes puedan terminar lo que están haciendo. Y automáticamente, si se termina el tiempo, regresan a la sesión principal. ¿Ok? Let's see. Y van a ver un rotulito ahorita que dice que están invitados a participar en Breakout Rooms. Para... Ok. Es cuatro. Okay. Para que se unan y puedan practicar en grupos la conversación. Ok. There you go. You have to click join. Tienen que darle join o unirse. No sé cómo les sale. Si lo tienen en inglés, join. If it is Spanish, unirse. Teacher, no podemos compartir. I'm here. Uh, no podemos compartir pantalla. Really? So nobody is in the computer? Nadie está desde la computadora? Sí, teacher, pero dice que no nos que todavía no nos ha habilitado la ay, 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 para ay, compartir ay. pantalla. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me see. Chuchu. Chuchu. I tengo que habilitarlos. Uh, okay, try again. Okay, yes, I can. Listo. Yo soy Julio, ¿quién es Ana? Yo soy Julio, ¿quién es Ana? Yeah, si quieres soy yo y después cambiamos con Janet. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. 16. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what will happen is there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you, you know, but they have not been for long. Ahora yo soy Ana, o van a hacerlo ustedes ahorita? Si quiere, hagámoslo así. Ahora usted, Ana y yo, Julio, y después cambiamos con Janet. 
Okay. okay, before you continue, antes que continúen, lo hicieron muy bien, buen trabajo. Solamente escuché dos palabras que fueron como mispronouns. La primera, recuerden, experience. 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 Yes. Excellent. Experience, como con I, e, XP. Experience. Ajá, experience. la segunda es, suena como I, e, experience. Experience. Ajá, and work. Esa, esta, el sonido final de work en pasado es como una T. Work. Work. Ajá, uh -huh. I worked in this company. I work. Uh -huh. And not only that, that's it. Good job, continue. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Twenty eleven to twenty sixteen. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my brother was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have worked as time you came back? Not really. I have done some independent, independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, ahora yo soy Julio. Tell me about your work experience. I worked in Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from uh, 2000, ever. 2000. 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was caused for a short period of time. I was jobbed for eight months Thank you. until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, I see that you have been doing a very good job with this. So just a couple of words that I heard mispronounced. For example, quit. Esa se pronuncia así como se lee ahí en el documentito. Quit. 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 Y la otra es esta preposición since. Ajá. Es since. Ah. No signs. Es since. Okay. Y la otra, el pasado de work, se pronuncia como con T at the end. Worked. 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 Ajá, no es worked. Acuérdense que ningún sonido del pasado suena como ed. Son t, d, and id. En este caso es t al día. El sonido es como una t al final. I worked in this company and so on. Y la segunda, bueno, la otra, la última, perdón, es independent. Esta, la última E suena más como, como una independent. Dependent job. Independent. Independent. Okay. You're doing awesome. Continue. No Thanks. sé si tienen algo que me mueva a otro grupo. Mm, we are nice. Are you okay? working well. Okay. Yeah, we are okay. Continue. Thank you. Okay. I cry because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened in there? I it was just for a short period of time. I was for eight months until 
my prayers were done. Then I come back to Istanbul. And you have not work, worked since so you come back? No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, very good. I just heard a couple of words. Solo escuché un par de palabritas que uh, quisiera que veamos. Eh, no están compartiendo pantalla, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, aquí les comparto. <ríe> Esta, por eh. ejemplo, la primera que es el pasado de work. Acuérdense que en el pasado de los regular verbs, ninguno suena con ed. Son tres pronunciaciones diferentes. Una suena como una T al final. La otra es D, solo D. Y la otra que es ID. En este caso, work, el sonido final es T, worked. I worked at Unilever for five years. Y la última es independent. Es como done, independent. Independent. Uh -huh. That's correct. Do you have any question before I move to another room? Uh, question? No? What is the correct pronunciation for since or science? No, since. Uh -huh. Excellent. It's since. Oh, okay. Since. Any other? Thanks. Teacher, con la ese, pronunciación de los números. Ok. With the numbers and years. En los años, ¿verdad? Lo pueden yes. hacer eh, completo. Como aquí decir 2000. ¿Cómo sería 2000? 2000. 2011. Y el otro sería 2016. Ajá. O lo puede hacer como separándolo en dos cifras. 2011, 2016. Ok. Cualquiera de las dos. ¿Is there any other question? No. No? Ok. No. Ok, continue working. Hola. Hola. Hoy sí, vea. Que no Ahora sé sí. Que... Sí, disculpen que no, sab... no sé qué es lo que pasó. Ay, disculpen. Este, hoy sí se escucha. Sí, se uh -huh. escucha. Nosotros ya practicamos. Si quiere, practique usted con Víctor. Vale, está bien, solo voy a buscar el manual que aquí lo tengo. Espérenme un segundito. Ok. ¿Cuál es la conversación? La de... Página 13. Julio y Ana, página 13. Espérenme que... Um... Esa es verdad. Ah, pues aquí la tengo. Sí. Bye. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si empieza usted. Okay. No va a empezar Víctor. Víctor, ajá. Me... No sé si empieza Víctor. Bueno, ok, ahorita. Tell me about your experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked is this in this company from, fíjese que no sé cómo se pronuncia, 2011 to 2016. Uh, in that case, you can say 2000, que sería 2000, 2000, 2011, Ajá, 2011 to 2016. 2006, 2006, ¿cómo fue? O si se le hace más fácil, Cristina, cuando hable de años así, los puede seccionar en dos. Por ejemplo, 2011, 2016. 2016. Ok, perfecto. Ok, muchas gracias. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. 
And what happened there? Uh, it was to for a short period of time. It was to for eight months until my project was done. Then, then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked, worked since you come back? No, really, not really. I had done some independent. Independent. Mm -hmm. Ah, perdón. Pretty not good. Really Just remember, uh -huh. the first one is experience. Esta es la segunda E, suena como E, experience. Experience. Aunque esa línea era suya, ¿verdad, Víctor? Esa que yo estoy diciendo. No really. La, Ajá, esa es suya, vea. La primera, sí. La, la que no. dice no really. Uh -huh. Ah, no, no, esa era suya. Mm, que, que, que veo que aquí dice Ana y empieza con Job, you now would be have no, be, no been for long. Pero no hay problema, lo importante es que practiquemos. No, really, I have done some independ independent. Independent. Yo, mm -hmm. you now, both the have not been for long. For long. Volvemos a practicar. Ok. Hoy empiezo yo, si gusta. Está bien. Ok. Eh, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. Mm -hmm. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And um, what happened there? Uh, uh, it was just for a short period of time. It was used for eight months until my project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And you have no working work since you can you came back. Not really. I have done some independent independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Ok, thank you. Ay, ay, ya nos están llamando, mire, muchas gracias a los dos. Gracias. <ríe> ok, bye. Gracias, gracias, feliz noche. Okay, let's wait for the rest to rejoin the meeting. We just missing a couple of people here. Okay, how did it go? Como les fue? Any question, any comment? No questions or comments? Questions not, but some uh, phrases, it's so difficult, the pronunciation. For example? Um, quick, quick, that, right? Uh -huh. That and one. Other. Uh -huh. Go independent, ahead. Independent. I don't know the intonation. But you it's did correct. it correct, Hazel. Independent. Independent. Excellent. Excellent, you got it. And the other is quit. Así como se quit. I quit. quit. Mm -hmm. Okay, another is intonation in the verb in past when is T. Work kept. 
Word, word. Word. I don't know. The pronunciation is so um, difficult. Uh, yes, because remember, eh, eso es lo que les decía en los grupos que me logré meter como a cuatro. Eh, el pasado simple, recuerden que eh, ningún verbo regular en pasado se pronuncia ed. No vamos a decir worked, visited, no. Uh, let me give you some examples. Um, Okay. Okay. Then we have three examples. Aquí tenemos tres ejemplos de verbos regulares en pasado simple. Recordémonos que los regulares son los que siguen la regla de que hay que agregar ed o si ya terminan en e solamente la d y algunos sufren algún cambio cuando terminan en y. Esto uh, lo vemos como en el básico 3, pero está bien que lo reforcemos. Eh, cualquier duda, háganla. Cualquier pregunta, háganla. Eh, porque es importante y no, como les dije, no es que sea la carrera por terminar el módulo sino que hacerlo eh, de la mejor manera posible y si todavía hay una duda por ahí eh, estamos para eso para ayudar, para hacer algún refuerzo y, y, y qué bueno que, que, que traigan esto recuérdense que ninguno como les decía, ninguno se pronuncia ed, por ejemplo no vamos a decir worked, no vamos a decir visited ni lived because that is incorrect son tres diferentes sonidos Tres diferentes sonidos o para la pronunciación del it or ed, right? For example, in this one, work. So the final sound is t, work. Work. Que es una de las categorías. Algunos se pronuncian con t at the end. Suena como t, work. Now, this it is. Es como si se le agregara una sílaba extra, id. This it is. This it is. This it is. Y la tercera pronunciación o sonido final es d. Okay? For example, this one is lived. Lived. Okay? Remember? Worked. This it is. Lived. Uh -huh. Any other question or comment? Algo otra duda o comentario. Acuérdense que estamos aquí para ayudarles, para facilitar un poco el proceso de, de su aprendizaje del segundo idioma. So, si necesitan de repente que hagamos un repaso de estos, la pronunciación final de los regulares, I'll be more than glad to help you. ¿Ok? Teacher. Ok. Yes. Eh, eh, significa que en working solo sería work con la T word. al final. Work. Word. Uh -huh. Eh, busy, solo busy. busy. Visited, como id, id, visited. Quitarle, ay, aparentemente quitarle la T y la E. Visited. Ah, id, visited. Y Lai o lived. Lai. Lived. 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 Sí, at the end. Okay. Lived. Ok. Lived. Okay. Eh, is there any other question? Feel free to ask for, um, for review. Siéntanse libre de pedir algún review de algún tema que hayan visto y que todavía tengan dudas. Uh, I'll be happy to help you with that. So if there are no more questions or comments, we're going to continue here. Let me share the screen again so we can move here and continue working with this. So we have uh, practiced this conversation. And then in exercise number three, we have three questions. And the first two questions are about the conversation that we already practiced. For example, number one, it says, when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? 
Ajá, excellent. That is the correct answer. Uh, from 2011 to 2016. 2016. Okay, that is the correct information. From 2011 to 2016. And you can provide uh, more details or a complete answer. Say she worked, uh -huh, she worked there from 2011 to 2016. Now, why did she quit her job in Unilever? New job in Panama. Uh-huh, because he had, she, she was offered. Offered a new job. Okay, because she was offered a new job and you can complete the the answer there in Panama because she was offered a new job in Panama. Good. Now, this is the number three. It's a personal question that, that the answer is individual. It doesn't have anything to do with the conversation. So that is personal. Have you ever done independent job? Volunteer? Yes, teacher. But how can I say it in English? Eh, vendía frescos. Oh, so you can say yes, I have. So, um, uh, so that, that was like an entrepreneur, like an emprendimiento. Yeah. Mm, okay, so you say yeah with my mother. Uh, yes, I have. I was an entrepreneur, and I I I set up a small business selling rings. Okay. Okay. So, that's that's it. Mm -hmm. I worked as an entrepreneur with my mom. Uh, selling drinks. Selling drinks. All right. Excellent. And uh, how did it go? Was it good or not very good? Yeah. Well, uh, um, some people was construction. Were construction. Workers, construction uh, workers. Yeah, when oh. um, they were constructing building. Ah, sí, okay. Building is the verb, eh? Okay, they, so some of your customers were building mm -hmm. uh, a supermarket in front of my house. Okay, nice, awesome. Yeah, but Anybody when the else? construction uh -huh. uh, gets ready. Uh, people gone. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, well, when the project was done, the workers left. Yes. Okay. So I have to work formal. <laughs> oh, so you have to get a formal job. <laughs> yes. Okay. But you got that experience and it's fantastic. You didn't have a boss for a, for a while. <laughs> sí, fue libre. For your own <laughs> boss. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. So, okay. anybody else? Any other volunteer? Yep. Okay. So, we can... Um, move and continue here working. So let me clear this so we can move to the next one. Okay, now how to use the time expressions? The time expressions that we are going to be using are for, since, from, and to, then, until. Let's read the use of for. Can you read it, please, Carla Mendoza? For, use for.
Are you there? Carla? Okay, Annette, can you read the first one? Use for? Use for plus a period of time. I worked in Vienna for seven years. Excellent, Janet. Excellent job. Excelente, Janet. Y vi que aplicó lo que les conté con el verbo en pasado de work. <ríe> Excellent. Thank you so much. Entonces, esta nos dice que vamos a utilizar la proposición o la time expression for. Y luego vamos a agregar un periodo de tiempo. For plus period of time. Thank you so much, Janet. Uh, let's continue. Um, Victor, can you read since? Use since. Use since. Uh, specific. Plus, plus specific. Plus specific points in the past. I have worked there since 2005. Excellent. Thank you so much, Victor. Ok, vamos a usar since más un periodo de tiempo específico en el pasado. I have worked there since 2005. Thank you so much. Melanie, can you help us with from? Okay. Uh, use from to stay the start and end of time. I stayed there from January to November. Excellent. Thank you so much for helping us. Entonces, from to. Ahí el to tenía que estar en negrito también. El from, cuando empieza, el to, when it finished. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, then, Julissa, can you help us with then? Use then. Julissa. Yes, teacher. Uh, lo leo. Yes, please. Use them to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in the company until 2011. Then I quit. I quit. I quit. Uh, excellent. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love that you are applying the correction. Excellent. So remember then to introduce a new event in a series. El then se utiliza para introducir algo otro evento, algo que sucedió después, okay, de algo previo. Excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one is until. Use until. Cecia, can you help us with that, Cecia Ramos? Okay. Use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time mm -hmm. i worked in panama until my project was over was over excellent thank you so much Cecilia. thank you thank you so until is to mark the end para marcar el final de uh, de una actividad o de un periodo de tiempo Y tenemos ahí un ejemplo para cada una. Is this clear? Or you still have questions about how to use these time expressions? Is this clear? Yes, no? Yes, yes, it's um, clear. Yes, yes. Just awesome. clear. Fantastic. Now we have these two exercises here. In the first part, we are going to use those prepositions to complete the sentences that you have there with what we have studied here, okay? We are going to apply this into this exercise, okay? I worked there and you need a preposition here, okay? So you need to fill in the blanks with the correct time preposition. And then when you are done with that, you're going to write five additional sentences. You have to write five more sentences like this ones that we have here. For this, you have to click para hacer esto. Alguien tiene que compartir pantalla en el grupo como lo hicimos anteriormente y van a hacer clic en un lapicito. 
en el lapicito donde dice anotar, annotate. Y ahí van a seleccionar la T de texto. Y con eso ya pueden escribir ahí, type your answers. Luego tienen que tomar un screenshot o una captura de su trabajo o guardarlo. Ok, para luego presentarlo a la clase. Are we clear? Yes. Is that clear? We want to work on groups. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, in groups, and remember that one of you need to share para compartir pantalla. Eh, vamos a ver si está habilitado. Ah, yes, uh, sigue habilitado para que todos compartan. ¿Alguien puede compartir? Eh, remember, para poder modificar o escribir sobre la diapositiva o el PowerPoint, tienen que seleccionar Annotate, donde está el lapicito, en la barra de herramientas, el lapicito, y luego donde está la T, texto. Y ahí pues se posicionan y empiezan a escribir. Luego tienen que guardar o hacer un screenshot o un recorte de su trabajo y guardarlo para luego eh, compartirlo y podamos chequear. Ok. Um, okay. And this is in the presentation. Eso está en lo que les mandé en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí lo tienen. Se los mandé antesito de la clase. Okay, let me create a break of rooms. Vamos a hacer con más gente para que pues más de alguno pueda ayudar con la pantalla. Okay, ready. Hola, hola. Hola. Este, Alguien puede compartir la pantalla. Quiero ver si me deja porque en la anterior no me dejó, pero voy a probar. Ahí está. Okay. <sighs> okay. First, I work there for. I think it's for three months. Mm. Hello. In New York. It's in New York. Hola, hola, perdón. Este Eso es lo que teníamos que llenar. Sí. 
El que es their signs. El primero. Confront to, for, until, then, and time. Things. El primero. Pero vamos es... a crear otros cinco. World, World two. New York to Monday. I think it's for, but uh, I don't know. Because uh, it's a period of time. Como en el ejemplo dice, I work in... I work. Indiana for seven years. Yo trabajé ahí por tres meses. Mm -hmm. He's been in New, New York. To Monday. No sé si es sin. Correct. Since. Oh, thank you, teacher. I'm working. Is Marcos work until? No. From, from at 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Desde las 7 hasta las 3. From. En esta no estoy segura. Ajá. He's from again. Uh -huh. Today I start um, work. I work. I work. Creo que I think it's from, but I, I know. I don't know. I um. Yo entiendo eh, que usamos from cuando empezamos y tú cuando se termina. Pero yo pienso en los demás. Tú. Yo pienso que es tú. Tú eres. En esta no estoy muy segura. I'm working to esta. Y 
in the same. I talked to my supervisor and is then. And then. Vaya, ¿cómo decían que podía escribir en la en la pantalla? El lapicito. El lapicito. Yo no veo el lapicito. Sí, sí. Desde mi teléfono, ¿dónde está el lapicito? Ah, ese creo que yo lo tengo que habilitar de un momento. Bueno, si no en el chat y, y las escriben el que pueda. Ya estuve pensando ah, sí, en. Ya no había leído lo, la, la, la parte de abajo. Ahí está. Ahí está ya. Can you write or only me? Mm, let me see. Honestly, I can't use my cell phone. That's a problem. Okay. You're not a problem. Don't worry. So I wrote uh, the first sentence in the, in the chat. You can see it. Can you see it? Yes. So then you can write it there. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking number two. Do you have some examples, some ideas? Go on, moment. Okay, yeah, you're thinking. <laughs> okay, blow your mind. Uh, ta potente esa party. Así. Sí. Yo digo que sí. Sí, así. Ok. Tomemos de captura entonces. En la primera Hay que hacer las oraciones.
Y con las otras oraciones íbamos a hacer eh, una cada uno, las cinco cada uno, como... Uh, yes, for uh, you to, uh, I think that you just have a few minutes left, so you can make a uh, right or uh, one example for each one in the group. For example, you can say, Janet, please make uh, write an example using scenes, Julissa using from to, uh, Carla using until, etc. You decide, but you can write one for each of you. Means we finished. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. So we are going to get back to the main section to check attendance and then we're going to check your work. Okay, that's right. Okay, I'm just missing three in the group. So how was it? Was it easy? Kind of easy. 
kind of AC, okay. All right, everybody's back again. So we're going to check attendance for the second time tonight. And then we're going to check your uh, responses. Just let me get this file to check attendance. Okay, here we go. Adele Ellen Nielsen. Present. Thank you, Abel. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Yulisa Yamilet. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Daniela. Present. Thank you, Carla. Carla Ivania. Present. Thank you, Carla. Let's continue with Carla Lorena. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Melanie Alexander. Uh, present. Thank you, Melanie. Melissa is there. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Roberto Emilio. Roberto Emilio. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Present. Okay, thank you so much. And then we're done with the attendance. And also remember that we have one on one section. And for today, we have Palmore Alexander. Así que si se puede quedar un ratito más después de la clase, Palmore, para su one on one, it will be more than welcome. Now, let us check. I think we have a couple of minutes to check the exercise. So, in number one, uh, volunteer to give us the answer for number one. I worked there for four. That is correct. So in that one, the correct proposition was four. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, a volunteer. He's been in New York. Since. Since, correct, excellent, since Monday. Number three, I'm working. For, for. Until? Until, uh-huh, until 5 p.m. Remember that until is to mark the finish of a period of time or an event. So I'm working until 5 p.m. today. Number four. Marco works from from and to seven a.m. from to seven a.m. to three p.m. on weekdays. Pretty good. Number five today. Until. Today I started at 9 a.m. and worked. Until? Until, excellent, until 4 p.m. Number six, I talked to my supervisor and then, then, then I left for the day. Okay, and we also were supposed to write five additional sentences, 
but we will share that tomorrow to start with a kind of review of today's class. So thank you so much for joining today's section. I hope to see you tomorrow and that you sleep well. Have a good night. Good thank night. you. See you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. See you. Tomorrow. See you. Thank you, teacher. Hey, teacher, hello. Yeah. Eh, 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 mi segundo nombre tiene un error. Es Alexandra y veo que al pasar lista me pronuncian como Alexander. Ah, okay, Melanie. I'm going to bring that to my uh, coordinator's attention. So le voy a, a, a decir a coordinación para que puedan corregirlo. Please, es Alexandra. Thanks. Yes. Okay, Alexandra, ahorita lo anoto. Thank you so much. And we're going to correct it. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, Bye. have a good night. You're welcome. Okay, Valmore, thank you for saying a little bit more tonight. So you prefer this in Spanish or in English? In Spanish, teacher. Spanish. Ok, Valmore. O sea, las secciones uno a uno son más que todo para saber cómo se siente usted en la clase, eh, con los temas que hemos visto hasta el día de hoy, si siente algo que se le está dificultando, si quisiera algún repaso de algún tema o de algo, de algo en específico que hayamos visto, y para saber pues, cómo se siente con la clase, qué es lo que le ha gustado, o qué le gustaría que incluyéramos si está en nuestras posibilidades para que usted se sienta más cómodo. Así que le escucho. Uh, va, eh, principalmente, teacher, si me ayudaría con, no sé, para más vocabulario. Vocabulario, ok. Uh -huh, porque si ahí siento que estoy un poco falto. Ok, to increase vocabulary. Uh -huh. Y con respecto a las clases, este, dice de que van a haber días que yo salgo a las nueve de la noche. Entonces, tal vez estaría como ya, bueno, como por ejemplo mañana, mañana voy a salir a las nueve. Estaría de ocho a nueve como ya antes, pero de nueve en adelante no, porque como vengo de transporte. Ah, ok. Pero sí se puede conectar eh, a las ocho siempre. Sí, sí, voy a procurar desconectarme a las ocho. Ah, informo okay. porque más que todo martes y jueves creería que se me toca. Sí, y no va a poder con... estar participando, pero sí va a poder escuchar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay, más que es todo esto es la otra semana, es por las exportaciones que tengo un poco de problema. Sí, al menos para que escuche cómo, qué es lo que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Y que también este, el tiempo de conexión no se vea afectado. Sí, es bueno que siempre se conecte a las 8, aunque no pueda participar. Y siempre recuérdeme en el chat que no, que está nada más como oyente y luego nos deja saber cuando ya pueda eh, estar activo participando. Ok, dice. Y no sé si me puede, o algún link en el cual podía practicar, no sé, algo. Ok, para practicar, eh, link, enlaces, necesita. No sé, diría yo, digo yo. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno, déjeme ver qué puedo eh, sugerirle. Porque ajá, quisiera saber cómo más o menos hay algunas aplicaciones que le pueden servir para vocabulario. Eh, y no sé también qué es lo que estamos haciendo para incrementar vocabulario. Digamos como por ejemplo en la clase de hoy, ¿hay alguna palabra nueva que aprendió? Sí, en el, cuando estábamos en el, en el, eh, en el diálogo. Eh, employee eh, la otra cual era que así no me acuerdo cuándo, ¿no? que me costó el pronunciación creo que fue en la otra ya no es pictures es 
Prayer 6. En el diálogo de Andrew y Ben. Experiences. Experiences. A ver. Donde dice, and what about you seeing experiences? Está más atrasito. En la página 9. Ah, en la nueve. Ah, buena. Esa clase no la tuvieron conmigo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. la... Ok. Hmm. Oh, ok. Bueno, vamos a ver, por ejemplo, si ahora aprendimos employee. Ok, aprendí la palabra employee. Eh, necesito, tal vez, digamos, eh, algo otra... Bueno, aquí, aquí no había mucho vocabulario complicado. Pero, no, por, no ejemplo, uh -huh. por ejemplo, digamos que aprendió eh, employee. ¿Qué voy a hacer para memorizar esta palabra? Digamos que aprendamos cinco en el día, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, porque uh -huh. nosotros no nos podemos salir mucho de lo que es el material, pero, sin embargo, le voy a ir agregando cositas adicionales, porque lo que no podemos hacer es utilizar materiales de tercero. Entonces yo le voy a estar eh, incluyendo más ejercicios como los de ahora y voy a tratar de que lleven vocabulario un poquito más, eh, un, menos común, o sea, uh -huh. para que usted vaya agarrando palabras nuevas. Y lo que va a hacer, es, por ejemplo, si aprendió cinco o tres palabras nuevas ahora en la noche, tiene que ponerse como objetivo memorizarlas en el día de mañana. Yo sé que por el trabajo no podemos andar con un cuaderno por ahí, pero tal vez en el sí. blog de notas del celular las pueda anotar o tal vez en la mano si no puede andar el celular con usted. Porque en mi experiencia eso es lo que yo hacía, me las anotaba en la mano porque en el trabajo no me permitían celular. Entonces en la mano me, me escribía las palabras nuevas y de ahí las repasaba durante el día porque con el trabajo es mentira, a veces no le queda mucho tiempo a uno. Pero eso puede ser algo que usted haga. Eh, repasarlas o eh, estudiarlas en la mañana o pegarlas ahí cerca de donde usted duerme para que cada vez antes de dormir vea las palabras nuevas, le dé una repasadita, um, ¿verdad? Para que se le vayan okay. quedando. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Algo más, Palmore, que quisiera comentar? ¿Cómo se sienten las clases? Pues hoy es primera con usted. <ríe> Pues, ah, sí, no sí. Cierto. Pero había estado en las ¿Tú? anteriores también. Sí, con el otro profesor. Era un profesor. Ah, ok, pero, qué bueno. Pero ahorita todo bien, Ticha. Está bien, ok. ¿Algo más que quisiera agregar antes que finalizamos la sesión? No, solo le informarle de, de mañana. Ok, siempre recuérdanos en el chat para, para tenerlo en mente. O que alguien me diga, Tijara, ahí dijo Valmore que no puede participar. Vaya, está bien, Tijara. Ok, thank you so much, Valmore. I hope that you sleep well and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tijara. Ok, bye.